Well, a history of local heroism lines the waters of downtown Norfolk. Dozens of people gathered to dedicate a monument to sailors who died while serving the United States. News Channel 3's Brian Farrell tells us about the tribute to those who now keep eternal watch over our country. The color guard from the USS Cole. The music from the Atlantic Fleet Band. The feeling all American. From all of us here, that we will remember the events of 9 11, the events of coal, the coal bar towers, and many, many other instances. The Lone Sailor statue, a tribute to local Navy members who gave their lives in the name of freedom. Plaques behind it are silent testimony to those who died on Norfolk-based vessels. As you know, I've got the ribbon on, and uh, that's something that uh, I'm glad to see patriotism come back into the being here. The plaque dedicated to uh, USS Newport News shipmates lost in a Tier 2 explosion was unveiled by Rags Ragland and Chuck Zender. Fair winds and following seas, Rags, we miss you. duty to serve and to defend our duty this weekend and always to honor in Norfolk Brian Farrell News Channel 3 now the lone sailor and the plaques are on Freemason Harbor next to Harbor Place and directly across from the battleship Wisconsin the park is open to the public ultimate sacrifice of Navy personnel the statue depicts a lone sailor now standing watch over the Wisconsin in downtown Norfolk 13's Eric Turner shows us how eight plaques around its perimeter mark the sacrifices made by sailors killed on Norfolk-based ships. The solemn ceremony honored those who gave everything for their country and highlighted Norfolk's ties to the Navy. The Lone Sailor Statue, an important symbol for those who've served. It honors all the sailors in the United States Navy from back in 1776 right on through to today. And they're still out there in harm's way, and they're doing a great job. The sailor stands in a square surrounded by memorial plaques. The statue stands watch over the battleship Wisconsin, sister ship of the Iowa, which lost 47 sailors when a gun turret exploded in 1989. But it's very nice to know that uh, that the city cares, that somebody cares enough to dedicate a park like this to not only not only our ship, but all the other ships as well, that a lot of times go forgotten. And it is the centerpiece of a place where anyone can now stop, pause, and reflect. If we don't remember, then we lost everything. Eric Turner, 13 News, Norfolk. And Eric tells us the other plaques at the Wisconsin Square honor lives lost in tragic incidents involving the USS Liberty, the Newport News, and the Nimitz. The square was funded by donations from the Navy Memorial Foundation and the Fleet Reserve Association. After a few words, the lone sailor statue is unveiled. It was made to represent every sailor who has served and is serving now. A young, second-class sailor maturing into a confident, seagoing veteran. But this wasn't the only dedication here today. These plaques right here represent lives lost. They're here to honor the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice serving Norfolk-based units. I feel uh, honored. I feel sad because we're honoring shipmates that I'd served with, knew very well. John Kennedy used this day to teach his son the importance of Memorial Day. I, I just think it's important that he, he knows about sacrifice, and that's, that's why I brought him here today. In Norfolk, I'm Tracy Moynihan, 10 on your side. Now, the statue is at Wisconsin Square. That's on Freemason Harbor, directly across from the battleship Wisconsin in Norfolk. And as we celebrate Memorial Day, a new statue honors the ultimate sacrifice of Navy personnel. The statue depicts a lone sailor now standing watch over the Wisconsin in downtown Norfolk. The sailor stands in a square surrounded by memorial plaques. Some mark lives lost in the war on terrorism, and there are plaques to honor the coal and those killed at the Pentagon. The other plaques honor lives lost in tragic incidents involving the USS Liberty, the Newport News, and the Nimitz.